Coach, just talk to us about the philosophy of having to play a second game in 24 hours with a lot of travel, not much sleep, a visit to Lake Como. How do you think the guys bounce back tonight? Well, we were really good tonight. I was really proud of uh, uh, our guys' response. We spent a lot of time today in a bus, on a boat. Uh, we spent about an hour and a half walking around uh, uh, in, in, Lake, in the Lake Como area, in the Bellagio area. Uh, and there was, it was quick. And then we got back, we ate pregame, and we're back on a bus. And uh, not only did we shoot it well, I was, I was very, very impressed with our defense, especially the first half. Eight first quarter points, uh, 17 in the second for, for, for 25. Uh, we had it at .6 points per possession defensive rate, uh, which is off the chart. And, uh, and obviously we made some shots, so that, that established a, a pretty good sized lead. So I was, I was pleased tonight. Obviously the ball went in, we got open shots because of the ball movement, you had 28 assists on 43 baskets. Just talk about the offensive flow and sharing the ball and what you saw there. Well, that's one thing we had to clean up after last night. We had 18 turnovers, and even though the game was out of control, and, and we've got to learn to play with, with a mental approach, uh, no matter what the score or who the opponent. And tonight we really worked hard on pitching the ball ahead. We worked extremely hard on looking for first cutter layups. We missed 11 last night. Anytime you get that kind of efficiency, 28 assists on 43 baskets, I don't know, 65, 70% right in there of your baskets, that's uh, assisted. That's a great number. It's unselfish. Uh, then you throw in the fact that we got on the offensive glass. Uh, Allen in particular had six the first half. Uh, that makes for awful impressive offense. Speaking of Griffin, he was the game MVP tonight, 31 points, got to the glass again. Talk about the, his performance since we've been over here and really the evolution of his game and what a strong summer he's had. Well, he's put in an awful lot of work. He stayed here in May, he stayed in the weight room with Fletch uh, to see that growth. The one thing he's done both nights is play extremely hard. And uh, there hasn't been one time uh, in the first game, and there couldn't have been too many tonight that he didn't go to the offensive glass. And he's got a great tenacity on the glass, and he's finishing those, uh, finishing those, getting some easy baskets, and then he shot it well. It's amazing how hard work pays off, and you, then you see the ball go in at the offensive end, and all of a sudden you look up, he's got 20 in the first half and 31 for the game, and, and uh, couldn't be prouder of the job he's done. One non-basketball question. Lake Como tour this morning. I saw you had your phone out taking some pictures. Probably not something you do every day. Just talk. What, what did you think of the, that site and what you saw today and, and your impressions of it? Well, you you hear so much about Lake Como and 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 then you see it in movies and and then you hear about George Clooney living there and and uh, uh, it's everything and more than advertised. It's one of the prettiest places I've ever been. Uh, we didn't have sunshine today, so I can only imagine. Uh, what that place is like sunny, but with the Alps there, uh, just being on a boat for a couple of hours, uh, it was breathtaking. Our guys really enjoyed it. Again, it's a place that you just don't see every day, and, and uh, uh, we had a great time. Alan, second game in 24 hours here in Italy. We've done a lot of traveling. You haven't got a lot of sleep, but yet you continue to play hard, play great basketball. What do you attribute it to? Uh, we knew it was going to be tough coming a little jet lag, but uh, training, shout out to our training staff. Uh, they told us uh, to stay hydrated, uh, get enough sleep, eat, and recover. And that was our main thing, just, just to recover so we're able to come back out and play to our full ability. You've had a great spring and summer on campus, really worked in the weight room, really worked on your game. You have to be seeing that translate on the court. Definitely. How has that given you confidence, what you've done? A lot of work uh, from May through July and now we're here in August uh, definitely paid off uh, I've been in the weight room with Fletch I was there in May with me and uh, everyone just went after it and I felt like I personally got a lot better stronger I feel more confident I built more confidence going to the rim and just playing playing in general just playing build confidence speaking of your game and confidence you showed that tonight 31 points mm -hmm. and a game MVP award yeah. you had to be surprised when you got a trophy over here yeah. how'd you think about your game tonight what was it like playing in front of a sellout crowd that was really into the game it was nice playing in front of the crowd uh, first time playing in Italy uh, got a little feel for it and uh, just MVP. 
<laughs> told myself to uh, just come out and play, play my game. And uh, my teammates helped me. Definitely DeMonte, DeMonte Williams. He's always in my ear. And uh, he's always saying the good stuff. And he's always helping out. This man right here, always, everybody, everybody contribute. And if it wasn't for my teammates uh, to be able to give me the ball, I wouldn't have been able to make those shots. Great game, Alan. Go enjoy your pizza. Thank you.